made your banger and it's time to export it in this video we are going to walk you through the best export settings that you need to know in fl studio 21 so without wasting time let's dive into it first things first to assess the export settings just go to file choose export then choose the format you want you can also do this in the export window and then choose the name you can change the name and then choose a destination and then hit ok so as you can see this is what fl studios export window looks like so the first thing we have on top here is the project type so here you can select if you want fl studio to export only patterns or just your full song so next to it is the tail so from here you can set if you want fl studio to like either cut the tail or maybe wrap the tail for you or just leave the tail so by tail i mean something like a reverb tail that happens at the end of your song or maybe a delay tail so you can either cut the remainder meaning there won't be any tail or leave the remainder or you can also wrap the remainder so down here we have the length and then next to it we have the total time and the dig space you know the space that is taken up so if you want details to add to your track maybe if you are uploading your track to a platform or you're sending it to somebody and you want these particular details you can get them from here so let's talk about file formats so when exporting your tracks you have several options to choose from especially in fl studio so this includes wave mp3 and flac so for the highest quality we recommend exporting in wave format because it preserves the full fidelity of your audio without any compression making it ideal for final mixes and mastering now let's talk about the bitrate so this bitrate determines the quality and the resolution of your audio so for the bitrate i suggest using a higher value such as 24 bit or 32 bit floating point so that this is to maintain the optimal dynamic range and minimize quantization noise so here we have the stereo separation setting so you can either have it in stereo you can either export your track in stereo and then or you can either export your track in mono so you can either have it merged or you can have it in a stereo form so i always leave this in stereo you know to avoid having a merged you know sound depending on what i'm doing but I always leave it in stereo so next we have the quality so this is like your sampling quality settings in the export window so this determines how the software which is FL studio handles the resampling when exporting your audio files so we have options here like we have the best we have the good we have the average we have the poor and so on and so forth so I always have my at the 32 point sync so you know you can do whatever you want but this is where i leave mine so the next one i'm going to look at is this overlooked you know button here so this disable polyphony stuff i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but this prevents multiple voices from being triggered during the export section so this is very useful i always have this checked so on this window make sure to always have hq for all plugins checked so this is to ensure that fl studio processes your plugins in a very high quality so down here we have the miscellaneous option so at the left hand side we have a couple of options like save playlist markers save loop markers and so on so you can have them checked if you want if you want them but at the right hand side we have some very important and very handy you know options that you need to know so this is very important so we have like the split mixer option so this is useful if you want to export your track in separate stems so i made a video about it for example if you want to send your stems to like a mixing engineer or a mastering engineer so you can just extract them you know in separate stems for example you have the guitar in a in a separate stem you have the vocal in a separate stem and so on and so forth so next we have the enable insert effects so this is if you want to export your tracks with or without the effects that you've added to them for example if you want to send your stems to a mixing engineer or a mastering engineer you wouldn't want to have the effects on them also if you don't want to delete the ones that you've added maybe you have your own version and you don't want to remove them you can have this button checked and it will export your 
stems without any effects so it's very handy we also have the enable master effects this is if you want to export your tracks with or without the master effects that you've added to them so this is almost the same thing with the enable insert effect but it's only applicable to the master channel so these are very important options that you need to know so once you've configured the settings it's time to export your track so i hope you got value from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now